Okay, today I'm working on a project with uh, collage, and I picked up these on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link to them below. These are just wood blanks. I don't know how many. I think there was six in a package, and I got them. I got them to make a clock. Um, see, I don't know if you can see they're round. It's it's going to be kind of hard with this camera. I might try and move it up, but they're um. some thin kind of wood. It doesn't really say what kind of wood it is, but they're very thin. You see how thin they are. And uh, it's going to be easy to drill through the middle. I didn't drill through the middle yet because I'm not sure. If I don't like it, I won't make a clock out of it. I'll just make a wall hanging. But what I'm doing is I took the... I made a paper template the same size as the wood piece. Then I folded it into 12 parts, so I made me a little template out of cardboard to cut my gel my gel prints, and I have cut them into 12 pieces that I am going to fasten to this board to make my clock, as you can see, and that's what I'm doing today. So I'll show you a couple steps. And they're probably, like this one does not come to a good point. It's got that white. So I'm going to either recut this one or um, add a piece to it. Once I get started, I can see what I need to do. But I just want to make sure right now that they fit. And they actually do fit. They'll overlap in places, and that's okay. So. And where they go off the edge, I'll just um, turn it over later and trim it. Yeah, I've got 12. I think I cut a few extra, so I might go to the extra to replace this one here. But right now I'm just going to arrange it so it's pleasing. I don't want, like, two darks together. And I might just be able to go over that one like that. Now I wanted to make sure they get all the way to the edge. I'm not too worried about what happens in the middle right now because it's going to be the clock thing is going to be there. Um, and I might, I might put something else on, I might put a circle of one particular gel print on top of that. So that's what's going to go on there. So right now I'm going to start gluing them down and I'm going to go get my glue. What I'm using is just a Mod Podge mixed with a little water. And I'm not worried about, because usually I use the purple Mod Podge, a friend of mine showed me that that, if you're doing um, like a journal, that doesn't stick as bad as some of the other ones do, where the pages stick together. I mean, it does a little bit, but not really, really bad. Okay, so I'm going to get my stuff together and come back and start sticking them down. Okay, so I'm back. I've got a little Mod Podge in this... Um, yogurt glass here and I mixed it up with water and what I'm going to do move this now I'm going to move them up a little get these out of the way and concentrate on these down here that one stuck at the bottom so I can then all right now I'm gonna go over them when I'm done so and this is a really thin coat of Mod Podge it's not thick pushing it down with my brush trying very hard not to get it all bubbly. And like I said, I'm going to go over it when I'm done, so and then I can pick up any edges that didn't stick down then and stick them down. 
I'm pushing down hard with my brush, trying to get all, at least most of the wrinkles out. I'm not worried about all of them. Okay. Looks like I missed a bit here. I'll use my finger to work it too. Try not to do what I just did and pull it back up. There we go. See, I'm trying not to get too much glue, but you got to get enough so it'll hold it down. And it's pretty liquidy because I did water it down. I'm not worried about that edge there. I'm going to come over the edges with something else. What I'm worried about right now is getting this middle part here stuck down because I'm going to come back with other papers over the top. But I want these areas to be filled in so I don't have to This one. Gotta be careful not to overlap them too much because they measure to be just the right size I started and I don't mind a little bubbling a little texture to it but I, it can't be too thick because you got to have the hands of the clock and not have to go over this so I'm going back over it and pushing it down where I think it's a little too high, like here. I'm going to take a card and go over it once it's a little bit stuck. Oh, there must be ink on there. This color's leaking a bit. Okay. Put some on the back of it too. I want it to stick really well. Alright, let's see if we've got it good. And then I'm going to do the rest of these off camera and uh, come back when I'm finished. Okay, so I cut out some circles to put in the middle. The rest of it's dry now. I haven't cut the edges yet. But I've got three circles I'm auditioning for the middle. I like that one. <clears throat> I like this one. Well, this one brings the greens together. This one brings the blues together. This one brings nothing together. But I kind of like it because it's got so much pattern to it. I think I'm going to go with the one that doesn't bring anything together. So we're going to put that in the middle.
And while it's drying, I'm going to cut the cut the edges off. See if I can get where that looks like it's in the middle. I'm going to come back with my pen and ink later. And I'll show you some of that process when this is dry. That looks pretty good. I think that's going to be an interesting clock. And what I'm going to do now is just go along the edge with my little bitty scissors. Where these have gone over the edge. And just trim away. I probably will take some sandpaper and sand it down smooth. But I'm just going to cut away the bigger parts right now. And sandpaper going down the edge will get it nice and flush. I'm just cutting off the excess. And right here, I'm not worried about where the wood is there. I'll put another little piece of paper on these two spots. So I think I'm going to ring it in black anyways. I'm just cutting off the excess and I'm going to go back and make sure it's glued down tightly on the edges because that's where it usually comes up. The rest of it, you can see the rest of it is really nice and tightly stuck down, but the edges sometimes are not stuck down as well. I don't usually work on round. This is actually, I think, the first round one I've ever done. So I'm going to come back through like places like here where I see it's coming up on the edge and let that dry with everything else. I don't see any other place that's sticking up. Press those down really hard. Okay. Now over here, I'll just put a little piece of orange there. nice thing is the way these are you can piece here and there. I was going to actually cut the triangles up and piece them a little more but I kind of like the way they came out so I'm not going to. Let's see, put a little blue here. Doesn't even have to be the same blue. There we go. I like the way that looks. And I don't think I need any piecing anywhere else. Like I said, I'm going to come back with um, pen and ink once it's totally dry. All right, so I'm going to let that dry, and I'll come back and start working on it with pen and ink, and then I'm going to sand the edges. Okay, so I'm back. Let me get all my lights on here. Got lights on all sides. And... 
there we go now what I'm gonna do now <clears throat> I'm gonna doodle on it I got my little pouch here with all my different doodly pens uh, what's this one let me see how big this is this one I'll do for a start I'll do start out with the finer pens and then if I like that go to the thicker pens just gonna doodle some areas See if I like it. I'm not really following the design, just picking up areas. Making some black marks on it. And I'm coming from one little piece of the pie to the next. I don't know if you can see real well what I'm doing. Let's see if I can bring it up here to show you. See the black there? I'm going to come over to this one. Like I said, I'm just doodling, but what I'm doing is bringing the pieces together, kind of. Probably gonna want a little bit thicker line than that. Let's see what else I got here. How thick is this one? Oh, this is better. I'll go back over some of it. Yeah, this is much better. And I'm just doing kind of like doodle lines. Just accentuating some of the designs that are already in it. Yeah, I like this thick line a little bit better. I don't know what how thickness. This is a Posca. Uh, I don't see where the size is. I'm going to do all of it. And I'm just picking up the patterns. And I might come back with white. Or I might not. I'm going back over the original there. It wasn't really dark enough.
and a harder over here where there is no pattern. back with some triangles where there's nothing going on to try and reinforce the triangle pattern. Okay, here I am running my finger in where I primed this. And there we go. I've pulled all the patterns together with the doodling. I don't know if I'm going to do any white work. I might along the edges. And that was... I don't know if I have a white pen that works at this point. But anyhow, that's what I've got. Yeah, I might do a little bit of white work. Some dots, maybe. take that one off.
Okay, well, let's more up here. So that's what I've got so far. Let me come down, see it a little better. I'm going to let it dry. And that'll be how it is, and I'll show you what goes on top. This is the uh, set that I got. And it comes with, this is a, I think it came with four different, I'm going to set this to one side to dry. Okay. So this is what it comes with. It comes with the plastic in gold, silver, or black, and then it's got the handles. And this is the motor that goes in the back. It's a battery operated. So I have to decide now what what's what. You can see how the black would look. That would be nice. I don't think the gold would show up so well. It might. Or the black. So I think we're we're We've got either the silver or black to decide from. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll go with the majority. I don't know if I'm going to put these letters on. Give me, give, give me an idea what you think on that, too. I mean, they will show up. They would show up, all right, because they're metallic. The black ones would show up, all right, too. Because they're thicker than any of the black line work here, so it wouldn't look confusing. But let me know what you think in the comments. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Uh, I will, in a later date, because I'm going to make a couple of these. I'm not going to just make this one. Um, I have enough for, well, I have, if I'm using the letters and these handles, i got enough for three. So I'm going to make a couple more, and I will do a video on them, but I'll, uh, in that video, I'll show you how this one came out. So, like I said, please subscribe if you want to see more. Put a like in the comments. Let me know what you think, whether I should do black or silver on it. And uh, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when my videos come up. Hopefully this one will get up on time for Wednesday night. Um, thank you very much, and I really, really appreciate you. Hosh, dog. I really appreciate you watching my videos. This is really a joy for me. Thank you very much. You have a lovely, lovely day.